So my my mom and my dad didn't get married till I was around eight or nine years mm-hmm. old. So up until that point, it was just me and my mom. I was a mama's boy. Mm-hmm. I spent. I was either with my mom, or I was either with my grandparents. Mm-hmm. It wasn't no. It wasn't nobody else raising me, you mm-hmm. know. And so I just. Uh, I joined the church early mm-hmm. um, because older people raised me. You know, mm-hmm. back then your grandparents they were strict, so they raised me. So I had those those boundaries mm-hmm. put in put you know that I had to follow, and and that's how I was raised. Um, and you followed it. I followed it. Yep. The only the only thing that I struggled with mm-hmm. was reading. Mm-hmm. You know, but mm-hmm. far as getting out. Having common sense, being respectful mm-hmm. to, to my elders, or uh, just uh, going cutting grass, taking out the trash, mm-hmm. going fishing, going to shoot guns with my granddaddy. I had all that. Wow, wow. Yeah. But you're you're 34? Thir- 38. I'll be 38 <laughs> in a couple of days. <laughs> 38 in a couple of days. You're a young man, though. Yes. yes. So you're a young man raised by um, grandparents. Right. Right. So you, uh, a lot was just um, infused in you, just um, implanted in you mm-hmm. as a young kid. Mm-hmm. Now, and so I, I remember when we talked before about being in school and how one teacher came to you yeah. and was saying that you should be in a special class. Right. T- yeah. Tell me about that journey. So, yeah, I was ninth grade and I remember like it was yesterday. I was walking out back then. They had breezeways in between the wings mm-hmm. at the school. Mm-hmm. And she stopped me. She said... Um, she said, you know, Dante, you are behind, you know, and the best thing for you at this point is to put you in special education. And, of course, I'm like, what does that mean? Mm-hmm. She said, you just come to school. Basically, what she was saying was you just be here for attendance and you go to a home ec and you might go to a masonry, masonry class, like no academic classes. Yeah. And if you do, you know, we'll we'll be in there to help you. And so uh, she was like, and then at 12 o'clock, we'll let you go. We'll for the let, day. For the day. We'll let you go. So, you know, at 13, 14, who wouldn't? Yeah. I mean, you know, that's the easy route. Was it your choice or your parents? Was your mom involved at all? Your grandparents? Uh, I don't remember. All I remember is us having that conversation and we moved in that direction. Mm-hmm. It wasn't no conferences. It was just just the direction we're going to take. And you grew up in Brunswick. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. So. Do you see those teachers, any of them now? Yeah. That, te- that particular <laughs> teacher? Do you see that particular teacher now? Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there are, we talk about teachers and their impact on your lives, um, positive and negatively. But what's fascinating is that the teacher said what the teacher said. You took the route mm-hmm. because you really wanted the easy way. Right. I heard you say right. that before, right? Yes, I wanted Because you it. really wanted the easy way out. Mm-hmm. So in retrospect, what do you think about it, your younger self? What would you <laughs> tell your younger self? You know, so going back to that, I remember when I would leave school, I would go to work. Mm-hmm. Willie's Weenie Wagon. And um, the owner, Mr. Arnell Chambers, mm-hmm. if I can go back, I wish I would have had more conversations with him about business. Mm-hmm. You know, I think so many times, man, I wish he was still living. Mm-hmm. I just want to know how, what situations and how he would handle those situations mm-hmm. in business, you mm-hmm. know. Um, not I've learned over the 12 years there is not a lot of men that look like me Mm -hmm. that will pour into me Mm -hmm. um from a business standpoint Mm -hmm. and him being in the restaurant business you know that that was a that's a big impact Mm -hmm. so I will I wish I would have had more conversations with Mr. Chambers Mm -hmm. wow wow that importance of having a mentor, oh, yeah. having that business w- wisdom. Yes. Well, you know, quite frankly, the <laughs> Lord had a divine plan for right, you yes, because here we are 12 years later. Yes. So let's fast forward to when you met Natalie. <laughs> when did you meet Ooh. Natalie? My heart and how, that your, how did that change your life? 